Hit it. Dark Holiday. Hey guys, this is Kevin Estella with Fieldcraft Survival. I uh, just want to do an interesting video here. I'm here with my buddy Justin Chimino. Uh, Justin has accompanied me in the past to Alaska and to Africa on safari. And Justin has a really unique trailer that he can quickly change his everyday driver into a bug out vehicle with just a few things. Now, he told me that he can get this trailer squared away in a matter of minutes, so we're gonna put him on the spot. But Justin, let's do a, a quick walk around here, man. Tell me what you did, tell, tell us about this trailer. Yeah, so my idea was to be able to get all of my gear together, organized and out in 30 minutes or less. So with the concept of the trailer was to get a little bit more security and get it a little bit beefier than something you could pick up at like a Lowe's or uh, uh, your other big box retailer like that. And then the concept of each of these bins, each bin is loaded with certain things. So this one just happens to be with firewood. I've got propane. I've got cooking utensils. I've also got a portable generator in uh, one of these bins as well. So it's basically like a free rolling um, house, if you will, um, topped off with the Tapui tent. And even down to the bits like this actually can come right off, slide off the back grate, and you can turn it into a table. So now most people I've seen with these uh, rooftop tents, they're actually on top of a roof. Right, uh, and so I live in Atlanta, Georgia, and so it's probably not you know ideal. These things weigh about 130 pounds. So to have one of these on top of your car all the time isn't really ideal. So again, taking my everyday driver and being able to put it into a scenario where I could be out and gone and self-sustained self in a matter of minutes was what I was looking to accomplish. Yeah, and I think what, what's really cool about this whole setup is that uh, you can keep it in your garage, right? Mm -hmm. Like normally if this were your everyday driver, this is on top of your car. Um, I like the idea of having these things pre-packed. Pre um, you know, vehicles aren't vaults, right? Like they're not safe. So it's easy for someone to just smash your car, crack a uh, car window, grab what they need to. But if you keep all this stuff in your in your trailer and you just keep that in your, your garage, you can keep some like basic stuff for like urban travel here, yep. but have this thing pretty much kitted out for, for the wilderness. Now, tell us about these tires. Cause normally like when I've seen a, like a trailer tire, it's a lot smaller and you did something to the suspension, right? Yeah, so a couple little things that I've done differently than you'd see on a normal trailer is I put these uh, stabilizers here. So between the stabilizers in the back and then in the front, I've got two different kinds of jacks. I can level this trailer out onto pretty much any kind of terrain that uh, I would be parking on. And then I actually put a 3,500 pound axle on this thing with uh, 16 inch Jeep Wrangler wheels and steel belted radial tires. So it's super stout and uh it, it's able to go pretty much anywhere i can pull behind with my vehicle and you don't even feel this thing when it's behind and then on the front i do have a locking uh toolbox for a lot of i've got a lot of tools and things like gloves tie downs and just other essentials that you might need when you're out on the road now i'll tell you something we just wrapped up a class today we we're in the, the pouring rain and it was nasty and messy and everything um a lot of people don't understand the reason for having like a rooftop tent like this, but I mean, if you just look around, the ground is soup right now. And you know, it's easy to say, hey, I'm going car camping, I'm gonna drop my tent on the ground. But if you're in a place like this, there is a benefit to staying up off the ground. Uh, now, how difficult is this thing to set up? Because that's what people ask. So I can also even show you, but I usually can say I can do this in about three minutes or less. So we'll keep an eye on the timer. I'm just gonna be over here drinking my coconut water. <laughs> By the way, coconut water, it's good for you. Some people say it's like having water that's already been in someone else's mouth. I didn't disagree. Um, if that is the case, I like it. Beautiful thing about this rig is that even when it's fully weighed out, it only weighs about 750 pounds. So moving it and manipulating it by myself is not really a problem. And your everyday driver is not like a, a V8 giant heavy or anything like no, that. No, it's just your uh, standard Subaru 2.5 liter. Damn. And I have to tell you, Kevin, it's pretty much done. <laughs> Other than me squaring away this ladder and putting in the guy out. What was the most expensive part of the 
build? Was it the tent? Was it the trailer? And the tent how much was these? actually, these tents are about double what I paid for the trailer. Um, but if you keep an eye out, you can go on to places like REI. And if you're a member like I am, they'll have a big sale once a year, twice a year. Um, Tapui was recently bought, I think it was by Yakma. And so they've kind of rebranded everything. But, you know, you can get these things. If you can get like a 30% off, you can get them to about $1,500. The trailer, fully built, I got for right around $1,100. So you can have a full rig for $2,500 to $3,000 where there's other companies that do these things custom and you can, I mean, they start at $4,000 and can go up from there. And I mean, and apart from say like more wear on your brakes, you're not dealing with some of the issues of having your vehicle completely loaded down. Like you this know, is- I will tell you, like I said, it because it's only even fully loaded out is about 750 pounds. Yeah. You don't feel it. I mean, braking, not an issue. Steering, not an issue. Um, it just it just rolls like a dream down the road. And now the inside of this tent has memory foam, right? It does. So this thing is already done. And what I do is I already keep my sleeping bags in and any other essentials like um, flashlights things like that that you when you get into your tent and maybe you get up in the middle of the night you might forget but this thing comfortably sleeps too can easily also sleep like myself my wife and my son we got plenty of room in here and now you're able to once this thing is set up to your camp disconnect it from your vehicle absolutely right? so when i had the stabilizers out in the back yep you don't i can do use now, this yeah. foot jack here and just drop that down and it's not going to go anywhere and just lift it right off the car and i can go so again you're able to disconnect connect this when you need to you can leave this in the camp drive this to town to pick up supplies it's not like you're carrying everything with you on top of your vehicle you don't have to break down your vehicle setup like this that's right to, to do some stuff yep. around town and it's great too when you have foul weather like this all you can do, have to do is just close it back up you can leave it there for a few days if you want. This is the 400D Cordura. So it's super, super strong. Um, it doesn't really mildew all that easily. And so when you do get a, a sunny day, just pop it open and let it air out. Shit, we're here at the, at the sawmill. You could probably set up in here in a prone position and shoot off of here. You absolutely could. <laughs> <laughs> that will have to be it. That's I'm a whole other video. Or anything like that. But if you had to, if you had, you know, say a handgun or a rifle or I don't know. Maybe gun, maybe do it in some comfort. So now, this whole setup, like you said, uh, how did you get it built? Was there a place that you go? Yeah, so I actually looked around a lot. I was looking into trying to fabricate this myself, but you know, making sure that it's DOT ready and everything. Um, I actually uh, found after a lot of calls, this uh, company called Lone Wolf Trailer. They're near Huntsville, Alabama. Great company, uh, great people to work with. Uh, you know, I called them about the idea of what I was wanting to do and how I wanted to have it built. I did some sketches, sent it to them, and they thought it was awesome. And, uh, you know, they actually did it inside of like a week. And I literally went out there, picked it up, and then took it out camping the very first day. Now, if you could do it all over again, is there anything that you would do differently? Uh, you know, I wouldn't do anything differently. Um, one of the things that's great about this design is that... Um, you can continuously add to it. It's very flexible and I, it, I'll just go ahead and talk about my next uh, idea here. So on this side of the trailer where these crossbars are, these caps can actually come off and I'm fabricating some T um, brackets right here that will literally slide right over this pin, slide over this one pin and there's gonna be two telescoping poles that are gonna come up here so that I can put an eight by 10 awning that will come off this side of the tent. So you'll have, you know, out to about here for shelter yeah. to get out of the elements without having to go inside the tent. So that keeps you, uh, it keeps your sleeping space cleaner than say like living space, right? Correct. Like, yeah. A lot of people think like a tent is just sleeping space, but if you get stuck in it for days, you're living in there. And that's why we carry tarps. And, yep. And, and another thing is, um, 
as I've had this now for almost probably a couple years, not every place is just covered. Sometimes you're camping or you find yourself out in very wide open spaces and it becomes a great just additional bit of coverage um, again, so you're not having to be in the tent or if it's really hot and sunny outside, you don't necessarily want to be in the tent either. Uh, you want to be out where it's open. This is awesome. So guys, that's, that's it. Uh, that's the, the pull behind trailer that allows you to keep your daily driver, a daily driver without looking like Mad Max. I think this great. This idea is great. Um, I can tell you it's, Trailering is not difficult. I think the, the hardest thing that you have to do is learn how to back this thing up. Right? <laughs> but uh, aside from that, I love this idea and, and I appreciate you showing us. Yeah, and just so you know, this is just a standard four by six trailer size. So it, as far as the backing up and all that, if you just put a couple orange cones out and spend about 30 minutes of your day, uh, you should have it down in no time. That's awesome. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks so much. This is Justin and I'm Kevin with Fieldcraft Survival.